Hello everyone, it's me again, GW fan the Softcore Brony, welcoming you to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Philly Fantasy VI. Hmm. Link to this video is a little shorter than some of you might have been expecting, huh? Well, more on that later, but anyhow, welcome to the Coliseum, one of my favorite locations in the game. Basically, this is where you can acquire pretty much all of the best uh, armors and a lot of really good weapons as well in the entire game, that is. <laughs> of course, in this game, uh, the best of the best weapons are a little different than what was in the original, but uh, we'll get to that much, much later. But anyhow, the way the Coliseum works is actually pretty simple for the most part. Basically, you, well, are asked to, you know, bet something. You can bet anything that's in your inventory, except not the unique items, of course, but yeah, anything in your inventory, and then you will fight a one-on-one -on -one battle. Uh, you choose one of your characters to do so against what, well, a particular enemy that you will then see on screen. Uh, usually one that's not terribly easy <laughs> at this point in the game. There's a lot of, like, in-game monsters that you can fight here. Uh, among other things. Now, the big problem, or, well, the real difficulty, I should say, of the Coliseum is that these one-on-one -on -one battles are semi, uh, or, well, not even semi, they're basically automatically fought. You have no control over your characters while you're uh, fighting here. So, once you choose a character, they will, well, yeah, go into auto battle and do well, whatever it is they might have available to them, be it magic or special skills. Uh, Cadence here tends to use Runic way too often for my taste. <laughs> Man, does she use that way too much. But, uh, yeah, or fights, although you have do have some control over that, because, of course, you have uh, equipment. There's a reason she's not equipped with anything right now uh, in that slot. And uh, relics, of course. Uh, Fury Man being very useful because it prevents them from using magic, which, which they'll sometimes even use spells that are just totally useless, like the life spell. Yeah, so characters with a ton of magic, like Cadence, usually not the best choice for fighting here, unless you're using the Fury Band. <laughs> But, uh, of course, some skills uh, you're not allowed to use while fighting in the Coliseum, or, well, they won't choose. For example, slots, and by extension, the bit shot. Uh, throw is also banned, as well as sketch. And another ability that uh, Sweetie Belle's going to get later, but more on that, uh, well, much later. I think, I don't believe you can use summon here either. This isn't an ability that you normally could have in the original game. But I don't believe you can use the summon command either. <laughs> and I think that was it. If I'm missing something, well, I'll throw it up on screen here or something. But uh, in any case, that's basically the basics. Now, for the most part, as far as, well, the items, uh, you know, you can bet anything, as I said. But uh, usually for most items or even just basic equipment that you bet, you're going to end up going up against the Hair Dryer of Doom, which essentially, well, typically right away, it's just going to blow you out of the battle. Ouch. With, uh, Wind Blast. Typically. And when you're blown out of the battle, nothing happens. <laughs> basically, it's just a wash. You know, we still have 38 apples, or... I think I did bet an apple, right? But yeah, we still have the exact same amount we did. Normally, if you lose, you'll lose the item that you bet as well. Where, obviously, if you win, you would have gotten what you saw up there above uh, the hair dryer of doom before I started the battle, which was the cupcake. Now, well, obviously, I've taken some damage. That may not be seen good. But whenever you do enter battle here, whoever, whomever you choose, they're automatically healed beforehand. Uh, well, for the HP and MP, and most, but not all, status effects. There are a few that will stay in effect. Unfortunately, Vanish is one of the status effects that is healed, so you can't expose that. <laughs> Which would make this place probably too easy if you could. But there are a few others that will stay, like Float and Dragon and a few others, but... Uh, Nothing I can really do with any of that. <laughs> I think, actually, blind stays... Uh, actually, does blind stay in effect? It might. But yeah, most uh, status effects are healed. But in any case, as far as things that I actually do want while I'm here... Uh, obviously, I've already sorted my items to make this easier. 
Oh, no, 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 I wanted to show what I'm actually equipped with there. I have uh, Luna here equipped uh, with the Light Shoes, Flame Sabers, and the Fury Band so that she doesn't use any regular, uh, well, any magic or her uh, Alicorn skill for that matter. Because first thing I actually want to bet for real here is among the rings, the Rising Sun. Which, I can fight this demon. This is, I don't think this is, yeah, this is not the same... Actually, is it? It might be the same demon that we could fight that we fought on the floating continent. Though it could be another one. I think it's the same one. But as you can see above there, we get the comet ring out of this fight. This guy, well, since he uses Earth Elemental uh, healing for himself, that's why I've given Luna the Earth. Uh, well, why we want Luna to this with Earth Saddle there? Oh, she even counterattack. <laughs> nice. And we get the Almighty Comet Ring. Which is, uh, well, the strongest, uh, where is it? Ring, 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 there we go. Comet ring, much, well, considering, say, like, the Aurora ring here, much, much, much stronger than the, well, that other, uh, item that we had. Very good for this point in the game. So, at this point, literally, this is the only reasonable item that you can really get right now. <laughs> I know I'm not even kidding. <laughs> For the most part. Uh, there are, uh, I mean, I know in the, when I played Pony Fantasy, I bet like 20 items the first time I was here. <laughs> but yeah, this game is a little different for, well, a couple of different reasons. One is the fact that I don't have necessarily all the same equipment that I, at this point in the game, that I did in, like, say, Pony or even the original. For example, weapons that were formerly unique to Fluttershy don't, uh, well, I don't have those, so I could have actually bet those for... Well, actually, oddly enough, katanas for some reason, and continuous uh, subsequently bet those. This also does not yield anything <laughs> uh, other than a, f a fight with a hairdryer of doom. But yeah, you can bet the katanas then to get what originally would have been the uh, well, a holy elemental lance, which unfortunately does not exist in this mod anymore. Well, in you know, world, I don't think it ever existed in this particular mod. But yeah, it unfortunately, doesn't exist in this particular game. Yeah, other reasons is because some of the stuff that we could have bet, I'm just gonna do that real- oh. Actually, I need to unequip <laughs> the old light shoes there for a moment. Yeah, other stuff that we could have bet, uh, for example, originally in the- if we bet the light shoes, this would have netted us a, a really good elemental shield, but now we just get the sturdy shoe, which is the, well, basically the relic that lets you hold one shoe, or one shoe, <laughs> lets you hold one weapon in both hooves uh, and whatnot, and vice versa, if you bet the sturdy shoe, you get the light shoe. So, stuff has been rearranged as to what you can win. That's another reason that uh, this is a little bit uh, different. Another reason, of course, is the fact that monsters in general are a little stronger. They have higher defenses. And there's also, I think, like one or two that actually have higher HP. Plus, there's rarity. Rarity's lures. There's some new ones. There's a lot of monsters here that actually have, uh, well, now get new lures because some of the old ones are no longer available. Like, there's actually a couple monsters that have Moonbeam here. Though, unfortunately, you can't actually learn lures from anything in the Coliseum. Now, while this weapon is... Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, this weapon is, like, the only, like, reasonable one to get right now. There are other things I actually could get right now. For example, I could... Uh, where is it? Bet the dingy dress to get a plain dress. Uh, that is totally plausible right now, but I don't really see any reason to do that because no pony can equip these right now. And among other things, I also, as you may have already noticed, I have dash equipped with Zephyr Cape, Emerald Ring, and what have you there. There is one other thing I'm optional, that is purely optional, that you may or may not want to do, that, well, I feel I'm going to do, and I want to bet the Charm Bangle, the only one in the game. If you want it, don't do this, but I don't feel I'm going to use it, so I'm going to do this. We fight the Retainer, which is a rather interesting enemy that now actually does use that Moonbeam that I was just uh, uh, talking about. He also has an interesting ability... 
Oh yeah, he also has Wind Slash, this is why I have Dash equipped with uh, Wind Element Protection. But he has this ability that is a physical-based uh, death attack. So the Memento Ring, even if Dash could equip it, wouldn't work. Yeah, that right there, trade-off. However, evasion does work against that. Dash has the highest evasion and the best equipment that could do anything about that. So that's why I have her in this battle. Uh, against this guy. Now, it's not foolproof. He could still hit me with trade-off there. And this battle's gonna take, actually, a while. <laughs> but, for the most part, hopefully she should be able to survive. Oh, yeah, there was Moonbeam. Yeah, for the most part, yeah, he'll also use trade-off right when he dies. But, for the most part, she should be able to survive this, although there's a chance she'll get killed by trade-off. But I didn't. And, yay, I got the gold hairpin which I find a little bit more useful uh, at this point in the game than the Charm Bangle. I mean, I never use the Charm Bangle for the most part. Though, of course, you could already have a gold hairpin if you decided to get that instead of Pinky. <laughs> which, maybe I should have done, but... So, all right, great. Let's see, a few other things that I could get I'm going to, uh, well, that are totally optional that I'm not going to keep. Uh, I'm going to rearrange uh, Dash's equipment real quick and be right back. Alrighty, I have Dash equipped uh, with the Ruby Ring and Sapphire Ring, as you can see. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to teach her magic, because even though I have the Fury Band, <laughs> I can't always afford to have that in my uh, equipment draws here. But anyway, some other things that you could potentially get that I'm not going to bother with. Uh, you can bet the Ruby Ring here uh, to fight this Dark Chimera here, which uses, uh, well, fire and uh, ice elements. I think he uses a wind element, too. Now, this is not guaranteed to succeed here. Yeah, he uses Windstorm, which is why I want Dash with the Wing Saddle still. <laughs> And he also can hit pretty hard, but, uh... Fortunately, she does have the evasion for that as well. Now, this is another battle that's gonna take a long while. But as you saw up there, you can get an, a relic called the Magma Ring. Which... Well... It, in early... Ouch, I might not survive this. But yeah, in earlier versions of the, this mod, that was actually a really ridiculously good relic that actually absorbed, like, two elements, but now the Magma Ring, it just, uh, cuts earth and fire elemental damage in half, and I think it gives you some stat boost, or, like, magic or something, and otherwise, it, uh, allows you to learn Fire 3, which is probably the only reason you might want it. I don't particularly care about that, because the level 3 elementals that have dash. Because the level three, oh yeah, some, oh yeah, now once he's down to this amount, this is why you can do this one right now. Because once he gets down to a certain amount of HP, he'll just start spamming Avalanche over and over and over and over and over again, and then that's it. For whatever reason, then you basically get the whole battle won because I can't be affected by the ice element. Although he does have a ton of HP and Dash can't hit very hard. <laughs> So, yeah, Magma, I think it, yeah, but yeah, t uh, learning Fire 3 is the only real reason to get the Magma Ring, and otherwise, I don't really care about that, because the, uh, the elemental magics in general are gonna kinda get phased out real quick <laughs> with what we have available. Oh yeah, plus 5 to magic power. Yeah, Fire 3 times 3, there's uh, two other... Uh, relics that are similar to this. These used to be available for sale in one of the towns, but you can't buy these anymore. I think this is one of the only ways you can get these is by betting the Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald Ring. Although the Sapphire and Emerald Rings, I can't do those fights <laughs> right now. It is not against that Dark Chimera. Now, another thing you can do against that Dark Chimera is bet the Hero Ring and get a Ribbon, but I don't find that to be especially necessary at this point. I mean, Ribbon actually is really useful for the next dungeon, as it turns out, but, uh, so is the Peace Ring. But yeah, Hero Rings, I think there's actually a relative limited number of these. There's only, like, maybe eight or so of these in the whole game. <laughs> but for the time being, we have very few, and I do like them for right now, even though I'm not gonna actually need that many by the end game. But, uh, yeah, I don't feel the need for the Magma Ring, or uh, a second ribbon, and I want to equip Dash with one more thing. This will show you something that you could potentially do, but is going to be way, 
way too luck based. <laughs> Alrighty, I got Dash equipped. Well, still with the ruby ring, but now with the wing shoes uh, in addition so that she can, well, dive, which I haven't shown off at all so far. The other thing you could, well, potentially try to do is bet the rename card against uh, not the Doom Dragon, but the Green Dragon, who is exactly the same. This fight is. Potentially possible, but you're gonna have to get ridiculously lucky uh, on this. It's not, I don't consider this to be at all plausible at this point, even though it is potentially possible. This guy will use an ability called Northern Cross, which, despite what it looks like, is actually Fire Elemental for some reason. Or no, Southern Cross is the one that's Fire Elemental. This thing, Northern Cross, can potentially, but not always, freeze you which lasts for quite a while, but will be undone by Southern Cross, which for whatever reason is Fire Elemental, despite what it looks like. But, uh... With this guy, the real problem is that eventually, yeah, he'll use this ability called Fallen One. Come on, Dash, do something! Which will reduce your HP to one guaranteed. Dash, why are you still not doing anything? Wow. Now, no matter what, once you get down to 1 HP, it's not really going to do much else to you, but he could still potentially hit you with a physical attack, which is the only way he could kill me now. Which, I do have lots of evasion, which is great, but the problem is that, as far as I'm aware, there's no way to protect yourself from freeze, or the freeze status, and when you're frozen, your evasion drops to zero. So, if he freezes you, which I'm getting ridiculously fortunate, <laughs> Wow, am I actually going to do this? Yeah, I'm getting ridiculously fortunate, but yeah, if he freezes you you're, and hits you with a physical attack, you're basically dead. And freeze will undo itself eventually, but... Uh, yeah, so most of the time you'll get frozen and just die, but I'm getting absurdly fortunate right now, although this guy has a lot of HP. Wow, really? Normally I don't even last this long against this Yeah, there we go. I died. <laughs> so yeah, you could potentially do that in order to get the Marvel Shoes, which is a really good relic, but that's not plausible at all. You could, it might work if you're ridiculously lucky, but <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna go forward with just the uh, Comet Ring and that, that, uh, where is it? Well, wherever I put it, the gold hair... Oh, here it is, gold hairpin, which uh, cuts MP consumption in half, which could be potentially useful. Uh, obviously, if you still want the charm bangle, don't do that, but the comet ring, at least, is easily plausible. Uh, we'll be coming back here uh, later, eventually. Actually, like I say, I'm going to have to use the end <laughs> since Dash is down now. Oh, wait, no. I'll just reload that, because I still want my rename card, which... Uh, well, if you want more rename cards, you could bet... Uh, cupcakes, but we can actually buy those, like, really soon, unique to this mod anyway, so there's no need to do that. <laughs> you could have Luna beat the enemy that you fight for these, but yeah, we can just easily get renamed cards anyway, but anyway, I'm gonna be continuing on with just the Comet Ring and the Gold Hairpin, and, uh, I'll meet you back in Philadelphia next time on Let's Play Philly Fantasy VI. Arrivederci.